At the start of a new term, it's important that every student has two important things. A good laptop. And a good pub. Well, luckily for you guys, we have found both. Yeah, but which, um, talking about the laptops, uh, has the best tech spec and the best form factor for you? Well, to help you find out, we have gathered together three of the latest, greatest two-in-one laptops, and we're going to road test them with a good old-fashioned pub quiz. Hurrah! Let's go! Let's go. Yes, we've been split into three teams, and this is my team, Team Awesome. Give it some love, girls. Uh, we've got the Microsoft uh, Surface Pro 3. Look at that seamless screen. Uh, click out stand, a nice click in keyboard. And also, it functions really well as a tablet. We are going to be using this HP Pavilion 360, which also seamlessly transfers from a laptop into a tablet by this beautiful 360 degree hinge. We will be using the Lenovo Yoga 500, which is a 14-inch computer that comes in laptop, tent, stand, or tablet form. The first round of general knowledge questions will test the two-in-one device's usability. Typing, browsing, connectivity and so on. Right, let's play! Question one. Which year was the first episode of The Gadget Show broadcast? The Surface Pro's Full HD Plus 12-inch screen and up to nine hours of web browsing battery life should surely be enough to get Jason's team through round one. You're right, you're right. Question two. Who won the Eurovision Song Contest in 1976? Amy's Intel Celeron processor makes short work of the questions and the HP's touchscreen means the answer's only a finger prod away. Can you repeat the question, please? No. Yes, you have to. You can hear <laughs> We've it. got it. What is the Helianthius commonly known as? Helianthius. <laughs> Finally, Team Otis are finding that the super thin and portable Lenovo is no lightweight when it comes to quick searches either, thanks to its Intel Core i series processor. Got that. And so to the second round. To test the sound and video quality of the three devices, the teams are tasked with filming some nearby fountains. The Surface Pro boasts front and rear 5-megapixel cameras. I think it's the only one of the three devices that has, that has two cameras. It also has speakers featuring Dolby sound. Amy only has a front-facing HD webcam to play with on the HP, although it does feature Beats Audio. As well as a front-facing camera on the Lenovo, Team Otis also have the benefit of integrated stereo speakers and an audio combo jack. Excellent. Snap. Leave. Back in the pub, it's time to see which of the device's video functions has made a splash. Overall, each camera performs well. Here is our evidence. Although Otis seems to think he's clinched it. And here is our video evidence. It's very good. Better than this, isn't it? That was an odd. That's yes. The third and final round is all about the touch screen. This time, the challenge is for each team to draw a picture of a certain John Bentley Esquire. Ooh, that'll be me then. While the teams paint, let me give you a few final student friendly facts. All of these two in one devices run Windows 10, which means you get the splendid voice activated personal assistant Cortana, plus Snap Assist, which allows you to easily organize apps on the desktop. And there's the new Edge browser, which means you can annotate and share web pages easily. Marvelous! That's what we've gone for. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, his eyes! Uh... What's going on with his eyes? We have taken inspiration from the pop art of Andy Warhol. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. It's... And when we discussed how John made us feel, feelings of summertime and ice cream <laughs> came into <laughs> our minds and... Flip it, let me turn <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> yes, yes, very funny. Hmm, I actually quite like it. <laughs> Please stop laughing. <laughs> We feel that one of the great assets of the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 uh, is that you can remove the, the keyboard completely. And so carrying it, you know, you're not carrying the keyboard around. So guys, what do you reckon um, and your feelings on this HP Pavilion 360? I think the hinge is great. You can watch Netflix on it in like, your apartment or your student accommodation. It's big enough screen to watch it, so that's great. 
What do you think? I like the fact it's touchscreen responsiveness. So mm -hmm. I think I think that's really good if you just want to use a tablet instead and don't want to have to use the keyboard. You can just you have that option. I think that's good. So well done, everybody. Thank you for taking part in this pub quiz. But there can only be one winner, and that winner is Jason C. Oh, yes! 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 High five! Yes! Well, that was a very enjoyable pub quiz, and you can't beat these three two-in-one laptop tablets for value for money, power, and just student ability. So that your your job of being a student, getting your work done, is as easy as it can be. And I think all three of them tick those boxes, don't they? Agree. OneDrive is a cloud-based storage system where you can store all your documents, photos and other files in one place. And you can access them anywhere, anytime, and crucially on any sort of device, whether it's Windows-based or not. Perhaps on open Wi-Fi networks. McAfee LiveSafe is a great piece of protection software. You can use it on an unlimited number of devices, including desktop PCs, tablets and smartphones. It's perfect for a well-teched-up student.